Today on Crazy Carl Projects. More Yaris wheels. Technically the Prius wheels, but still. <laughs> yeah, I've got this one welded. So you can see what happened to the paint when it was welded. But the crack is fixed. Hopefully we can balance it. I am on the lookout for another one of these wheels that isn't the price of buying an aftermarket wheel. <laughs> so, but well, it should hold for now. And hopefully I can get this balanced. The shop I'm having do the, uh, the tire mount and balance thinks he can do it no problem. So I am gonna try to smooth up this little edge a little bit. So it's flat, so you don't see that. And I've got to re-sand that little blob there. So I'll file that down, sand this, and sand up all the little pits and stuff. And repaint. And this one shouldn't have had to be repainted, but apparently I didn't shake that well enough because it spit out and it sloughed the paint off here. Which I put another quick coat on, make sure I got that mixed up good enough. But that's been a couple weeks now, so I'm trying to find someone to weld that, which was a challenge. So now I'm gonna send this down, get all the. I don't know if you can see that, but the alligatoring here and here, and the junk that bubbled up and sloughed up, even though I tried to clear it there. Yep. And paint again. That one, for some reason, the last coat made it matte. So I'm going to have to clean it and paint it again, try to get it slick. This one's in pretty good shape. It needed another coat, but I stopped while I was ahead. And our goal for this isn't perfection. It's to look good. So we're saying this one here. It, so it'll look good from we're about right here. Yeah. And it will slough dirt because I work in dirt and mud all the time. And a matte finish holds dirt. That's the reason why I'm doing high gloss. The whole point is this to clean easy. So, yeah. Yep. Yeah. So, keeping realistic expectations, which is something that we've learned here on the channel. Keep realistic expectations for your projects. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Definitely. Don't expect it to look perfect. Just good enough. Like I said, that's horrible, so I've got to fix that. And that's horrible, so i got to fix that. So... It's more sanding and filing and the other two, those two I'm just gonna take some alcohol to and repaint, which I gotta cover that one so it doesn't get a whole lot of dust. Got that, that got the their whole retreatment, but that should be smooth enough that it'll repaint good. And as far as for the all the alligator and stuff, I've taken it down with 320 grit instead of the 120 and gotten it smoothed out again and then a couple coats of paint should take that and make it look even right now you're just seeing the dull and shiny from the dull is what was taken down and the shiny is what was uh, not touched can't film myself this is the welded wheel as you can see i'm just kind of scraping off what's bubbled up a little flathead screwdriver then i'm going to go back and sand it and I am using a couple of cut files and a flat. And just taking off this little, taking down this little bubble. And I'll just be doing that for a little bit. Trying to get this all nice and smooth. That's no problem on this side, luckily. But yeah, do that, then sand it again with the 220. Uh, don't think I'm gonna have to go 120. I might have to a little bit, but I think two, 320 will smooth it and get all the stuff that's failed off, and then it's gonna be a matter of uh, getting it all cleaned up. That one's done, that one's done. I may do, I was just gonna go paint, but I think I might take uh, some 1000 grit to these two just to texture them a little bit take simple green degreaser to all of them wash them off dry them with lint free cloth and let them finish air drying 
and then start painting them. And give those one coat, those two over there, one more coat, maybe two, and then these actually do what needs done and try to get these done so I can get new tires, the new tires on them. And there we go. I've got this sanded or this file down smooth and sanded. Went okay. with the difference between these files, I didn't talk about before. This, you have a cross tube. This is a cutting file. This file is, it's kind of a cutting file, but it's actually a fine finish file. The difference is, is you have just one line, it goes all the way around on this one. And this one, you have a cross hatch. This is just a more aggressive file, so it'll take more metal off. This is better for taking metal off and making a fine surface. So you end up with a nice smooth surface. So which one did you use first? Use the cutting file first. Uh, do you go back and forth with it or just go down in one direction? Back and forth. Back and forth on this one. This, this you can go back and forth, to you, but when you're doing your final finish, you go in one direction. That gives a nice smooth and generally you go in the way you want it to kind of roll. So on this one, I went down. On the, but that was just for a few swaps, swipes to get the final curve on it and yeah. then sanded it. Okay. Sorry for the dumb question. It may be dumb, but... No, no, I, I think it's a question. Yeah, sometimes I wonder these things. And I've done this so long, I don't think about it. <laughs> Covering these so they wouldn't get dusty, I decided to give them a light sand. This is 1,000 grit. You could do this wet. Traditionally, you would do this wet, but I'm just doing a light sand, so the new coat of paint going over the top will grip better. And maybe it'll get rid of the flat appearance that's happening because that has to some to do with a texture that's developed. And it really is, it's a light sand. It just kind of roughs up the top. So stuff will stick to it. And maybe it'll knock down some of the rise areas. And I'm gonna wash it. I'm gonna use simple green instead of CLR this time. You have to wanna make sure you get the dust and the grease off. And then dry it and let it dry good and paint it. I just sprayed them down and hosed them. Yeah, that's part of what's going on. It's sprayed them down with simple green and hosed them off. And I'll put on a pair of gloves and spray them back in and dry them with a wet free cloth and then let them finish air drying. Just drying them off with uh, blue shot rags right now. Trying to get them so they don't have mineral water spots. Because it will not help the paint. He's pretty and, uh, say, And then after they've dried for a little while, I'll go over them once with a lint-free piece of cloth and some rubbing alcohol just to make sure there's nothing stuck to it. He sprayed them down with simple green and just rinsed them off outside where the water goes. Yep. Yeah. Put on a pair of gloves, bring them in so I didn't get oil on them. And I couldn't get the gloves on good because my hands are somewhat wet, so now I'm just being careful not to touch it. <laughs> They're supposed to be large. Two small gloves. Yeah. But once again, simple green, about two parts simple green, one part water, distilled water. And since these have already been scrubbed down once, I'm just getting the loose particles and any grease off, so I'm just spraying them down and hosing them. That's it for a minute and hose it off. So these are the tires that's going to be going on those. Some Scorpion Pirellis. Might not be able to get those anymore. I got those clearance from the last place that had them a year or so ago. Yep, a little bit of an off-road style tread there. That's how long we've been trying to get these. Uh, we tried to get the rams and they're, it, they're it all terrain rally tires. I got the tires and I started trying to find wheels. <laughs> There's 14 inch, which was the alloys for this car and for Mazda, they're supposed to fit this car. We didn't. Rum alcohol on a lint-free cloth and just do a, a quick 
quick wipe to get any dust or debris or any any grease that managed to get transferred or anything like that off. Let the alcohol dry and then I can start painting. Because this kid gave me trouble last time, I'm gonna do a test pass on the cardboard. Yeah, it's too kind of splattery. There it goes. There. Okay. Yep. Now I'll do I'll get flies to go away. Do the colors and you see I'm actually wearing protection this time. Kind of. It's not quite the right kind, but eh, there's nothing. And keep in mind, as I just showed you, we're replacing these tires. That's why he doesn't care if they get yep. on. If they get damaged, paint gets damaged when I get them mounted. The new one's mounted balance. I have playing cards, which is a cheap playing card that I can use to mask off those tires and put some touch up paint on. Somewhere in there in his excellent organizing. Well, there it is. Kind of the fin finished product here, waiting on the dry right. now. And those two are completely done. This one's pretty close to being completely done. And this one, eh, I should have sanded that all down more, but it is sealed pretty good and the crack is filled. So, yeah, this one here. The crack's filled. I should have done more sanding, I guess, on this, smooth that out a little bit more. But whatever. Good enough. Yep, like I said, it's a five footer, so from like here. Five footer, and I'll look at it this way. That lets me find, when I'm looking, the damaged spokes so I can tell whether it's cracked. There you go. <laughs> so, next step is to let these dry. This one and this one may get another touch up coat in 15 minutes when it's dry, ready? Those two are done. Let them set up, dry good. And sometime this week, I'll get those tires mounted. And then when I get it back, I'll see if I need to touch them up any. If I have to touch them up, I'll touch them up. And if I have to touch them up, I may go through and do, we got a uh, metallic flight clear coat put over the top. And I had kind of banned the idea of using it, but if I've got a new touch up, so I have to do a new coat on it, I may do that too. I'm going to paint them again anyways. So, are you? so we'll see. Okay, oh, we got the tires back, they're mounted. I have uh, lightly sanded them again, and I'm gonna put, I got a new can of paint, and already testing it, this sprayed a lot smoother than that can. I'm starting to think that can either had a wrong mix or had a bad nozzle, because I could not get a smooth spray with it. So hopefully this will give it a nice smooth finish. And I did the playing card trick and trying to I didn't take the tires off themselves, but I did this so you wouldn't get side blow, so hopefully this will work good. Mm, mash. The Eight. battle of painting with a rattle can. The you try to get a nice smooth finish and sometimes at alligators. Oh well. If at first you don't succeed, keep doing it. Yeah. Paper and card trick worked. I don't have white tires and they're coming off nice and easy. So at least I got two done. Those I'm gonna have to sand again. And I know I got down too heavy. I was trying to make for a nice smooth finish and I just got it too heavy. Plus, I ran into that problem with starting with the other can over the old paint i think the first no matter how much you shake it the first little bit that comes out has a little more solvent in it so i should have just sprayed out the first so much somewhere else and then started using it so yeah sand and paint again on those these are done at least they're on finally finally so you gotta zoom up on more that wheel there. You're gonna zoom in on the ugly ones. I'm not trying to zoom in on the ugly ones. 
but that's the welded one. These are the two that I kept having to redo because the finish kept messing up. Yep. I will say one thing. This is about as far away as you're gonna be, so. This stuff, do not use for wheels. The Rust-Oleum Professional High Enamel does not work well for... Not, not the 15-minute fast dry stuff. Do not use this stuff on wheels. It's been yeah. a battle. It's been one week. So, this is the good side, the side he wants me to get. Good. And, yes. There you are. This is what they look like. No, 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 you tell me. Was that worth the time and effort? Because that took you, yeah, how, how many hours did we put into these? I don't know. I the good one. Yes. <laughs> Which we'll get the answer after his trip. And if not, then, well, I know it looks good. If the wheels hold up, I'll sand it all again and actually use the paint. Yep. High gloss white tractor paint. <laughs> If you would like him to use <laughs> Flex Seal instead, like I keep trying to tell him, go ahead and tell him in the comments. Don't be use Flex Seal. Just say, use Flex Seal. But yeah, that's what they look like. And I showed you on the other side here. They look great from five foot away. Yeah, like I said, they're five, they're five footers is what it is. I finally got them to have a gloss finish. All of them have a gloss finish, so. Yeah. So there you go. And that's what they look like if you want to put that effort in. It was at least 12 hours of sanding, spray painting. Oh no, it was more than yeah, that. Yeah, it was at least 12. Um, I know it was not, probably about not 24. Not counting doing the weld, doing the initial sanding, we probably have 48, maybe well, 70, probably 72 man hours into it. Yeah. Well, this is you were talking about. Regular people, they would have used uh, one of the rotary tools, but you can't use one of those. One of the vibrating sanders. That would have yeah. made, yeah, one of the small vibrating sanders. That would well, have you made can't get flint. into all the stupid little ridges and details. Yeah, but you could have got the big parts, and that would have helped a little bit, but they killed my hands. The vibration kills my hands, so I can't use them. Yep. But, yes, that's what they look like, and... I think they look pretty good after all this time. It was worth the effort. No, no. Break-in is going to be a drive to Tennessee because it's cow hauling time. So, um, yeah, we'll see how they hold up to the farm. Trip down, trip back, and, and farm life. So. Yep. And also, I think still think you should spray paint your uh, drums. Oh, come on. They're natural. They're just going to be covered in mud anyways. Don't spray paint your, uh, spray paint your calipers. But don't spray paint your rotors, because that would be bad. <laughs> oh, come on. It'll be nice and color-coded. <laughs> They'll be nice and smooth and quiet. <laughs> they won't stop ever again. Uh, so it'll be like the Kia. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it'll be like the Kia is now. All right. Oh. Thank you all very much for hanging out with us. This is technically another project completed. Yep. And there should be a little section after for after trip, but yeah. my church tried. Yeah, go ahead, jump in there, kid. Another project completed until, until he decides to redo the project again. <laughs> That's a new project, though. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, and the fun thing is I haven't done the lift yet, and these Pirelli's on the 14-inch. When I pulled the jacks out, I had an extra three quarters of an inch clearance. So they've already made the car almost an inch taller. <laughs> I'm telling you, rally build on this is going to go well. What's going to be size on these again? They're 17570 R14. Yes, anybody can find any 17570 R14 per tires that are off roady oriented that aren't discontinued now. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. something tells me that these are going to last maybe 20,000 miles. I might get 30 out of them before they're so slick that they're like the other tires were. So for you that's a season. <laughs> season and a half. I'll drive yeah. them ball through the summer. <laughs> yeah, a season. <laughs> Alright. Don't make it two winters.
about 400 miles, 500 miles, 600 miles later. It's driven to Tennessee and back, rode around the farm. I've done a couple of days of work on it with gravel running sites, construction sites, gravel roads. And uh, the wheels are dirty, but they're holding up well. And the tires are so much better. Drove through some monsoonal rains. They held good, they get good traction, they grip good in all conditions. A little balloony, a little different feel than it had with the 15 inchers. Because they're, you know, wider, they're taller sidewalls, so they're a little more balloony. So it's a little more of a floaty ride than it was, but it's not, it's a nice ride. There you go, that's what it looks like close up. On the ugly side. <laughs> now, that's probably the nicer. One of these two is the nicest wheel, I think, actually. But from a distance, they all look good. And you have to get really close if you're looking to tell that there's imperfections in the paint coverage. Yeah, but if you're using that kind of paint on your wheels, you're not really that concerned about no, imperfections. No. And, and like I said with that, I use those, I used that paint because I couldn't find what I was looking for, either type of what I was looking for. And it was something new and it was quick dry, so it's much been easier to use. and that paint has places to use not really ideal for this use but it worked and the white paint looked good yep. I, if i had to do it again like i said i'll probably use if i do this again i'll probably use tractor paint farm equipment paint or something similar to that that's made for chemical resistant and uh, high durability yep so look forward in the backgrounds of the videos we'll talk about it every once in a while Y'all long-term viewers, viewers know how we do it because it'll be an offhanded comment. Oh, by the way, this is going well or this is going bad. It's going horribly. It'd be like the, the uh, shelf paper that's still holding on. <laughs> <laughs> it's faded, but it's still holding on. So the answer is yes, you can vinyl wrap a car with shelf paper. <laughs> <laughs> we were going to do it, but we can't find all the same kind of shelf paper. Maybe we I, can I can, I can only ever find two or three rolls at a time of anything that's not just... Well, I could do it all in black and white filigree because apparently they have that all the time. Yeah. That's why it's in the kitchen because it's the one you can always get multiple rolls of. Which I got, we'll talk about that off camera. I got <laughs> ideas. We'll talk about that off camera. But, uh, and the exhaust is holding well too. All those zip ties are holding it. So it's not been rattling. The only it, thing I've got is apparently I think these open wheels let more dust into the brakes because the brakes are being noisier. I think it's just dust build up. Yep. So, all in all, she good, she tight, as you can see. But yeah, so another project completed. Another project completed. Mm -hmm. As always, like, share, subscribe, and have a good one. <laughs>